Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manohar and welcome back to our SFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to use quick migration to move a VM between Hyper-V host. This is the third part of our ongoing mini video series on Hyper-V workgroup cluster. The links to the first two videos are provided in the description. Hyper-V offers several migration options including shared nothing live migration, quick migration and live migration. In this video, we will specifically focus on quick migration. In a Hyper-V cluster, quick migration is a feature that allows you to move a running virtual machine from one physical host to another within the cluster with minimal downtime. Quick migration is an older technology that moves virtual machines between cluster nodes but it results in a brief service interruption. Quick migration is commonly used in scenarios such as planned maintenance or load balancing. When performing maintenance on a physical server, you can quickly transfer VMs to another host within the cluster. It can also be used to move VMs between cluster nodes to help balance the load. Let's understand how quick migration moves a VM between cluster nodes. The Hyper-V host first creates a snapshot of the virtual machine's state including its memory and configuration. The VM state is copied from the source host to the destination host. The VM is briefly paused or shut down on the source host and then it is restarted on the destination host with its state fully restored. The process is faster than a full migration because it involves minimal downtime during the transfer. However, the VM does experience a short pause, typically just a few seconds to a minute, depending on the size and complexity of the VM. The load of quick migration is placed on the storage rather than the migration network. Generally, quick migration is used for low priority VMs to move them when placing a host in a maintenance mode such as during cluster aware updating or unplanned hardware maintenance. In the previous video, we created this highly available Hyper-V virtual machine using our existing workgroup cluster. We have installed Windows Server 2025 core on this VM. I have also assigned the static IP address 172.18.72.61 to this server. Let's check the network connectivity from the host machine. Open run menu, type cmd and press enter. Type the command ping 172.18.72.61-t and press enter. We are receiving replies back from the IP address which means the VM has external network connectivity. Minimize the command prompt and return to the failover cluster manager. Note that WS2K25-HV01 is currently the owner of TasteVM01 virtual machine. Right click on the VM you want to move using quick migration. Select move and then click on quick migration. To allow the cluster to select the destination, click best possible node. To manually choose the destination, click on select node. A dialog box will appear with all cluster nodes displayed. Select the destination node from the list and click OK. The VM status will change from running to saving, then from saving to stopping and finally starting. Under the information column, the status will display the message saving completed. Go back to command prompt to check network connectivity. We can see that the connectivity with the VM is dropped. We are not getting ping replies back. After a few packets are dropped, network connectivity will be restored and we will start receiving replies from the VM again. In quick migration, the cluster copies the memory used by a VM to a disk in a storage. Therefore, when the VM is migrated to another node, the memory and state information needed by the VM can be quickly read from the disk by the destination node. We can verify WS2K25-HV02 is current owner of this virtual machine. With quick migration, multiple VMs can be migrated simultaneously. To move multiple VMs, use Ctrl plus click to select them. Right click the VMs you want to move. In the context menu, go to move and select quick migration. To allow the cluster to choose the best destination, click on best possible node. Right click on the start menu and select terminal admin to open Windows PowerShell with admin permissions. 
Let's use power shell to perform a quick migration. Type the command move hyphen cluster virtual machine role hyphen name test vm01 hyphen migration type quick hyphen node ws2k25 hyphen hv01. If you do not specify the hyphen node parameter, the cluster will decide where to place the virtual machine. Press the enter key to run the command. Wait for the quick migration process to complete. The test VM01 has been successfully moved to the WS2K25-HV01 node using quick migration. That's all for this video on how to use quick migration to move a VM between Hyper-V host in a cluster. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.